Are you more or less horny? Oh, I'm way more. Oh my God, oh my God, it's like a real problem. Hi, who are you? I'm Alyssa. <laughs> I'm Nikita. I'm Tavia. And I'm Sophie. And do you know each other? Not at all. No. Why are you here? Uh, we're pregnant. <laughs> so this game is called Truth or Drink, but today we're just gonna tell the truth. Okay. Silver <laughs> edition of the game. Do you wanna go first? I'll, I'll go first. Okay. That's all right, there we go. How did you feel when you found out you were pregnant? Terrified as shit. I was hella happy. We've been trying for two years. How did you feel? Shocked. <laughs> I wasn't trying at all. It was a first date that ended um, well. Wow. And then... <laughs> Ended up getting pregnant from it. This one was planned. Oh, you planned this one? Yeah, it's my second one. Okay. Yeah. This is my first. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> I had just moved to Korea and I wanted to be there for like several years. And mm -hmm. it was with my boyfriend at the time. And I was like, do I stay in Korea? Do I move to America? Are you guys going to co parent together? Yeah, we're trying. Uh, Korea is 16 hours away. Yeah. So. Um, conversations are a little difficult. My first mm -hmm. um, was also super unplanned. Mm -hmm. In the end, he didn't want to co-parent at all. Mm -hmm. So I did do it by myself, my first pregnancy, and it's really hard. He decided that he doesn't want to be involved because it like, is my decision to keep the baby. I'm... We should fuck him up. <laughs> do you want yeah. to? No. We will, okay. 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 <laughs> are you more or less horny? Oh, I'm way more. Oh my God, oh my God, it's like a real problem. More. Which is like unfortunate since it's just, you know, me chilling. Oh my god, out. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah. Probably the same. Wow, that's great. <laughs> I've actually cried about this. What? Because, are you talking about? <laughs> because I am like upset about like how much sex has changed. Sex was a great part of our relationship and it still is. I just hate that it takes so much more work. My partner can barely keep up, poor guy. And I'm just like, nah, bro, Full let's go. Ahead. Let's go. Like, I remember <laughs> crying and being like, you don't want me because you don't want to fuck me today. And he's like, I just, I'm tired. Are you having sex at all? No. And you won't hit him up for penis, right? Because he oh, won't absolutely. raise the child. I'm no, just no, making no, no, sure. No, no. I'm just asking. No, cause... he would be worried that he would get me like double pregnant. Double pregnant. Yeah. Oh, he's dumb. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Cool. What positions can't you do in the bedroom since getting knocked up? <laughs> they tell you that you shouldn't really be on your back. On your back. Can't do anything fun. Yeah, you can't do anything fun. You, can, you can't choke me. <laughs> we use toys in the bedroom and like most of the time you want to use toys, you're on your back. You can't really do that anymore. If you want to have like really rough sex, you doesn't really happen anymore. Yeah. I, th I would say the only one that I don't really notice a difference is like doggy. Doggy's fine. The pregnancy position, bro. We probably have a couple more weeks where you can still do missionary, but then also I'm pretty open still to everything. The only thing I don't like him to do is spit in my mouth. I said that just grosses me out now. So we're, we'll yeah. get back to regular scheduled programming yeah. after the baby's Give it a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> He's super into my pregnant bod. Like we had a session before I came. I was like, I'm gonna be late. Yeah. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. Do you ever go in there and feel inside of yourself? No, because it's swollen down there, so I don't even want to like... It's a magic place. Like, I get why he would want to be in here all the time. So it changed? Did so it? Since being pregnant? Oh my God, it's so warm and gushy. It's, oh, okay. it's beautiful. So yeah. I get it. Like, I would want to live here. Yeah. He loves when these nipples are engorged and gross to me yeah. and hurting, and he'll pinch my nipple. Have you started leaking, like, when he pinches it? Does no, it <laughs> no, not yet, but I'm really excited for that. Yeah. Because I'm going to make him drink it. Breast milk's nasty, too. Have you tasted it? Mm-mm. Oh, it's not that good. When's the last time you pooped solid or had a normal poop? Yesterday morning. Really? Yes. I feel like my digestive system's fucked. Like, you're constipated? I can be constipated or, like, it's just, like, really bad. <laughs> For about two weeks, I wasn't able to keep down anything solid, no liquids, yeah. so no poop. And everything I eat tastes like metal anyway right now. Oh, so interesting. I'm struggling. Yeah. <laughs> did you consider having an abortion? I did, yeah, just because I really wanted to be in Korea and stay there. Mm -hmm. I was having so much fun with the kids and I was very passionate about what I was doing. But in the end, I kind of decided that there's many women in my life who have had abortions and they regret it. So I decided to keep the kid. I have had abortions and I don't regret them, but this was my pregnancy where I was the most sick and I, I didn't debate it, but like in my hardest moments, I was like, wow, I really understand why people 
do yeah. because I could not function on a basic level. Being pregnant's rough. And I had a really hard first trimester, just constant yeah. nausea and then just throwing up everything you eat. But my partner's the right person. We had like talked about it. We both knew we wanted to have a kid with one another. Not now, but you know, I can't plant these things. That's awesome. Do you take advantage of your pregnancy? I do a million times. I moved when I was like seven weeks pregnant, like, and so I didn't have to lift a box. I was like, I'm pregnant. I can't lift anything. I, I did research, nothing over 35 pounds. Shoot, at work, I let my coworkers do whatever they <laughs> want for me. I'll stick it out more so that like people open the door more and get out of the way. Because also when you have the babies, I noticed a contrast, mm -hmm. at least in my experience, people aren't. They don't treat you the same. It's when you have mm. a pregnant, people are like, oh, do you have two baby carriers, you have one baby carrier and you have a full arm of stuff. They don't open doors, it's, it's, it's whack. Do strangers fetishize your pregnant body? Have you considered making an OnlyFans? Hell no. You know, I have not considered making an OnlyFans, but I do want to put my feet on the internet. I want to <laughs> do it. I want to do it. I have cute little toes, and as they get a little wider, they're kind of pudgy, and I know I'm going to get the big bucks. If you take a photo from up here with your belly, too, that's a whole new market. Oh, my God. I know. Are you worried about tearing? Well, <laughs> yeah. Women in my family have gone hole to hole tearing. Ooh. So... That's freaky. I tore with both of mine. Dude, I did not feel it in the moment. That's not what you're focused on, mm. at least in my experience. But just to alleviate any other concerns, everything goes right back to normal and even better than before. Did you tear? Yeah, I did. How was healing? Easy. So easy. Okay. Like a bee sting down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you just gave birth, so bee sting is nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's your biggest fear around having a baby? Pushing him out. I want everyone to tell me that it's like rainbow, sunshine, all that. I was scratching the hospital, like clawing the wall. Like, oh my God. <laughs> make it stop. Best of luck. Since I've already experienced it twice, and I know what my body can do, mm -hmm. the only thing I'm scared about is having to advocate for myself in the moment right. with hospital staff, which is very hard to do when you're in the throes of labor. Yeah. What's your biggest fear around having your baby? Pushing. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm not, like, not scared of labor, but that could be like really naive you're of me. You're not scared of labor? No. Why? <laughs> because like I understand it's gonna be painful. You Insane. have your hand tattooed. You're not good with pain. Oh, that's different, dude. <laughs> this was easy. I think it's just the matter of size because my baby's in the 95th percentile, so I'm like, this is gonna be a really big baby. You know what? Think really positive. Thoughts. I'm hoping. You my know. second was nine and a half pounds, and she came faster than my son, who was two pounds lighter. Oh and gosh. it didn't hurt as much. Have you heard of Ring of Fire? Yeah, yeah. that's a real thing, dude. Yeah. When you're, the baby's <laughs> crowning and it's like your vagina is just like spread at its biggest point. <laughs> it feels like your pussy is on fire. It really does. We've reached the end. How was that? It was good. It was, good. it was nice having someone who's had kids before to kind of talk that through. I don't have a lot of mom friends yet. I got you. Do you have any wisdom for our friend here? Fuck your baby's dad. <laughs> Put him on child support, but he's dumb. Does he work? He works, but I'm not pursuing child support or anything. He should pay. And then you can take more time with the baby. I'm just sick of men making shit hard for us. You should fucking pay. That's fine. You don't want to be around, fine. Pay. Yeah. <laughs>